Good morning vlog fam. Um, it is currently around 8 o'clock. It's Monday, October 2nd and of course it's Monday so I'm vlogging. I woke up about an hour ago but I've just been laying in bed. I couldn't decide if I wanted to fall back asleep or not so I just kind of laid there but now I decided it's finally time to get up. I'm about to take Ella outside to use the bathroom and then I'm going to come back inside and eat some breakfast and do some laundry and just get this day started. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. I need to finish reading marketing and do homework. Um, I need to do my finance models. I have to go to the grocery store in a little bit. I need to put away laundry. I want to schedule my study abroad advising appointment. Um, continue to look for internships. Plan for Lyft tomorrow, which is the volunteer thing I do. And then I want to start the study guide. And today is my brother's birthday, so I'm going to go by his place at some point and just give him a card and stuff. So we'll do that later. So I'm about to eat these, um, they look really gross, but they're like banana, chocolate chip, oat pancakes, they're really good for you. And then some very, very Cheerios and coffee, and I'm going to sit here and do my marketing homework. So it is now currently around 10, I ate my breakfast and I read my chapter of marketing for Tuesday, and then I did my marketing homework for Tuesday, so that's really good that I got that done. Um, my marketing class requires like a ridiculous amount of homework. We have like, I don't know if any of y'all know what Learn Smart is, but we have like 70 to 100 questions of that twice a week. And it's on Tuesday and Thursday, so you like don't have time to do them. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. And then we have to read two chapters a week, which is like 30 pages each chapter so it's just a lot of work and Lauren Smart's are like multiple choice so it takes a good amount of time so that's why it took me forever but I'm about to put away laundry and then I'm gonna like throw on some clothes and go to Aldi, Publix, and PetSmart. <laughs> this is the outfit for today. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and my Lululemon yoga pants that I got off of Poshmark or Mercari last year I think. <laughs> and then Nike tennis shoes, and I'm about to go grocery shop now. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, everyone. So I just got back from Aldi and Publix. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul because y'all said y'all like seeing them, so I'm gonna do them. So from Publix, I got this vanilla check cereal. It is gluten-free, and it has no high fructose corn syrup. And there's very little sugar in it, which is really good, or at least compared to other cereals. And I only got it because I really like snacking on this kind of cereal, like dry, and I like eating it in milk. But um, it was by, it was two for five, and I pretty much get any cereal at Publix that's two for five because it's the best deal. I got this like wheat bread. It was um, from the Publix bakery for like $2.99. Um, I don't know if I've told y'all this, but like I struggle eating lunch because I don't like a lot of lunch foods. Like I always eat a really good big breakfast and then I always eat dinner, but I never eat lunch and I'm always like starving whenever it's like three, four o'clock. And if I do have lunch, it's like a smoothie, but that literally doesn't do anything for me. So I figured I should probably like start getting lunch food, but I couldn't think of anything because I don't really like very much lunch food. And I do like lunch meat to an extent, but so I just got a half pound of this Boar's Head um, Maple Honey Turkey, thinly sliced, so I can make some sandwiches this week, I guess, and then if there's one night this week where I don't feel like making dinner, like for what I planned, I can just make a sandwich. Next up, I'm super excited because my favorite cold brew of all time was on sale for $3.99 instead of $4.99, so that's awesome. Publix has a really good selection of like healthy ice cream, but I've never seen this kind. It's called Arctic Zero, and it looks like this. I got the cake batter flavor. There's only 150 calories in this entire pint, and there's 35 per serving, and it's cake batter flavored. Um, it has no fat at all, like 0%. Very little carbs, 2% per serving, or 2% of your daily value per serving. Um, literally five grams of sugar per serving, which is like so small for ice cream. And then three grams of protein, and it is fat-free, low glycemic, lactose-free, and it's made with whey protein, and it's gluten-free, and it's GMO-free. And I am just in shock. Like, I can't wait to try this. I will definitely update you all. I'll probably have a little bit tonight so I can let you all know how it is. But I'm really excited to try this because this is by far the healthiest um, healthy ice cream I've seen. And it was cheaper than Halo Top. I think it was $4.15 or something at Publix, which is like still expensive for ice cream, but it's better than going out and getting Froyo or something. I got two sweet potatoes for a meal I'm making this week and two lemons. 
from Aldi. I got some zucchini, some celery for a recipe, fat-free chicken stock for some soup, white vinegar for a recipe, some pasta, because I'm having pasta this week, coconut oil because I need it for a recipe this week, and also because I just think I need it in general because it has a lot of other like skin purposes. I already got my brother a birthday present, but I'm gonna go over to his place in a little bit and give him this just so I can have something to give him on his actual birthday. But he opened it like two weeks ago and I got him the five minute journal. Um, I saw it in Arlen Moore's like channel. I don't know if y'all have ever seen him before on here, but he has like really good college videos and stuff. And I saw him talking about it and he remi reminds me like a good bit of my brother, just kind of like the things they like to do, I guess. He recommended the five minute journal like to everyone. And I think I'm gonna get one for myself pretty soon, but I got it for my brother and my brother was actually like looking into getting it and he was so excited when he got it. So I was so happy that he like, had already looked at getting it because I was able to get it for him and he really liked it. But I'm gonna take these to my brother because he loves peanut M&Ms. And I got these from Aldi and they're like a really good amount instead of like a small amount. So I thought they would be good. Got some chicken that I need to prep. I got this light vanilla Greek yogurt. This is the only yogurt I've ever seen from anywhere, honestly, at this point that is does have dairy in it that has low sugar. This only has six grams per serving, and normally Greek yogurt has around like 13 to like 18 grams of sugar per serving, which is not like, no, like don't eat that Greek yogurt. So I got this kind, and it's a lot cheaper than getting Greek yogurt from like Publix or something. It was like $3, I think, at Aldi. Spaghetti squash isn't in my meal plan this week, but they had it at Aldi, and like normally I have to go to Publix if I eat a spaghetti squash. But they had it at Aldi this week, so I was like, I'm gonna get one because I might want to make one this week. Like, I plan to go out like on Saturday night this week, but like I don't know what I'm doing on Saturday. I just kind of put that on there because I didn't, I couldn't find another meal. But if I don't want to go out or if I want to make it for lunch, I have a spaghetti squash. And then I got some baby spinach for salads, some heads of broccoli, thing of raspberries, some baby carrots, some skim milk for cereal, and some strawberries because I love strawberries some bananas and that's it for my grocery haul so I just got done putting away groceries and prepping chicken now I'm going to try and do half of the videos for finance that I need to do today and then once I finish about half of these depending on how long each one is I haven't even looked at it yet to be honest let's see unit three what the heck I think I just realized I'm behind oh no this is not good I'm literally going to scream I'm like wow okay um this isn't good. How did I get three? Okay, like I've been up to date in my finance work, but like somehow now I'm three units behind. So I don't really know how that happened. I must have like missed a day last week. I don't remember missing a day. I did a lot of it last week. I did all of it last week that I thought I was supposed to. Okay, yeah, so I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna do a whole unit and then I'm gonna go to my brother's and give him his M&Ms and tell him happy birthday. And then it looks like I'm gonna come back here, eat lunch, and be working on finance for the rest of my life. So for lunch, I'm gonna, I kind of burned the bread a little bit, but um, it's literally just turkey and bread that I bought earlier today. And then some of these baked Cheeto puff things that I told you about in my last week's vlog, but like aren't bad for you at all. And believe it or not, this is actually smaller than the serving size. And then um, two pieces of celery with peanut butter. I'm just gonna eat this real quick. It's around three o'clock and I have about an hour and a half until I need to leave for class. Why does my camera keep zooming in on me and I don't mean to? This is so weird. I want Starbucks because every single week, since the first week, not the first week, but every single week since then, I have pretty much fallen asleep during class. So, <laughs> like I do that head nod thing like where you're like falling asleep and then you like jolt up or whatever. And that's happened to me way too many times in that class and I'm tired of it. So I'm going to go by Starbucks and get a skinny iced chai because it's fall and it feels nice outside. Yeah, and I figured out why I got behind in finance, I think. I guess last week, like I did my two days of finance that I do every week, but I guess last week what happened was I was supposed to do two units both of the days and I didn't see that. So yeah, but I am almost done catching up, so that's good. So follow me on Spotify. I will link it down below. I failed to do that in the last vlog. You know, called me out for it, but I will link it down below. I am currently listening to my Windows Down playlist. I am going to work on updating this soon because I haven't updated it in a hot minute. 
and it pretty much just has like chill songs like some of them are country some of them are alternative some of them are like chill pop some of them are old throwbacks of like chill pop there's just like a ton of different stuff on it but I, it's just like the kind of music that i love to have like have my windows down to and just cruise hey guys so y'all just saw my dinner it was literally phenomenal definitely one of my probably my actually my favorite chicken recipe i've made so far um i really like teriyaki chicken though so i don't want to say that it's my favorite but it's my favorite um i get all my recipes on pinterest pretty much i really don't get any on youtube or anything i just find it easier to go on pinterest and click on the links and stuff now i think i'm going to try and get halfway through the rest of the finance model i need to do and i did schedule my study abroad appointment so that's good and then i need to plan for the class that I lead tomorrow. Um, I need to find some kind of like game or activity or something for the adults to do. So it's about an hour later and I have been really productive actually. I wrote a LinkedIn summary like rough draft. I probably will have to change it a little bit, but for right now, um, it's just gonna, I'm gonna have it saved and I'm not gonna publish it till I'm done. And then I am about to take a quick break and try out this ice cream I told y'all about because I'm very excited. So this is really, really good. It has a lot of flavor. I really wanna try the cookies and cream one too. It definitely does taste like cake batter for sure. The only thing I would say is you can definitely tell it's a healthier ice cream because it doesn't taste as like milky and like, I don't know, it doesn't taste as milky and cream. It tastes creamy, like it's very creamy, but it doesn't taste creamy if you know what I mean. It's not very milky. It's You can definitely tell it's like, based off of something else, but it doesn't taste bad to me. I mean, I'm just happy to be eating ice cream that isn't going to affect my health negatively. So I'm fine with it, honestly, as long as it tastes somewhat like ice cream. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off today's vlog. It is currently around like 11, 15-ish. Um, I just got out of the shower and did all my skincare and brushed my teeth and everything. And it's been a really like good, productive Monday. I feel like typically on Mondays, I try to be productive and it never actually like, happens to the extent I want it to. Um, today would have been like A1 perfect productivity if I would have gotten the workout. Um, I really need to get back into working out. Like it's been a little over a week and I'm just not feeling good in my body right now. So hopefully I can get that started um, soon, but I don't know if it's gonna happen with all my four tests coming up next week. But I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and I asked in my last vlog if y'all wanted to see keep seeing longer vlogs or see more frequent shorter vlogs and the vast majority of y'all said longer vlogs so here i am with another long vlog but i hope you all enjoy be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and i will see you all in my next video thanks for watching bye